morning that every born-again believer is a minister of God. I've taught you that. But not every minister is a pastor. Not every believer is a pastor. There's a special calling. Pastors are, by the church, credentialed and licensed and ordained. And there are certain requirements, academic requirements, spiritual requirements, functional requirements, requirements of character. And Tom Coda has met these requirements. Tom has taken classes at Golden Gate <coughs> Theological Seminary. He's currently enrolled at Global University Korean School of the Bible. He's enrolled in our own leadership, Church Leadership 101. And he's currently ministering and pastoring at Sierra Meadows Park. And of course, he's a part of our leadership team here at New Beginnings. And God has consecrated Tom. God has already ordained Tom. To be ordained means to be set apart. And God has already done that. And those that know Tom know this to be true. You know, when a church or a denomination ordains somebody, what we're doing is publicly recognizing what God has already done. So Tom, I'd like for you to stand. And Evelyn can join you. Why don't you join me up here? Tom, in the sight of God, and these witnesses, do you affirm your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Do you promise to set the example for others by living by the Bible? You promise to set the example by having a personal, daily, devotional time with God. You promise to set the example by following the biblical example of tithing and managing your finances according to God's financial plan. You promise to set the example for others by allowing the Holy Spirit to control your life. Do you commit to protect the unity the church. Yes. Do you commit to subordinate yourself to the founding pastor and the pastoral team? Yes. Do you promise to promote the vision and strategy of New Beginnings Church? Do you sincerely believe the statements of faith as taught in Class 101? Yes. And are you now willing to take personal responsibility in the life of this congregation as a pastor and to devote yourself to prayer, the ministry of the word, the shepherding of God's flock, relying upon God's grace in such a way that new beginnings for the entire church of Jesus Christ would be blessed. I want all the members of our church to stand this morning if you're a member of our church. The Bible says, in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 8, when he, talking about Christ, ascended on high, when he went back to heaven after his resurrection, it says, he gave gifts to men, gifts to the church. Verse 11, and his gifts were that some should be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers to equip the saints for the work of the ministry for the building up of the body of Christ. Do you, the members of New Beginnings Church, acknowledge and publicly receive Tom as a gift from Christ to this church? Yes. yes. Will you love Tom? Yes. yes. Pray for Tom. Yes. Honor Tom yes. and work together with Tom that we may fulfill the mission of Christ together. Yes. yes. The Bible says in Acts chapter 13, 
Now in the church at Antioch, there were prophets and teachers. And while they were worshiping the Lord, as we're doing this morning, and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then after fasting and praying, they laid their hands on them and sent them up. Like for the other pastors that are here this morning, if you would join me, you can stay standing, please. And the other pastors, please join me up in the front. Inspired in prayer, and if you're a member, you can reach forward your hand just towards Tom as a point of contact. Tom, in the presence of God and these witnesses, it is our joy, it is our honor to set you apart this morning for the work to which Jesus Christ has called you. We commend you this morning, we charge you this morning. To continue to, show, to study, to show thyself approved, to preach the word, to be instant, in season and out of season, always ready to give an answer for your faith, to be an example to others in word, the way that you talk, in deed, in your actions and in faith in the way that you believe. And the Lord will say to you this morning that he has opened the door that no man can shut. Be strong, be bold, be courageous, be careful to do all that you pray, all that's in my word, and you will have success in whatever you do. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Minister, certificate of ordination says New Beginnings Church hereby certifies that Tom Kodak, having given evidence of a divine call to the ministry and having attained to the scriptural, spiritual, educational, functional standards prescribed by New Beginnings Church, is hereby given a license to minister and a certificate of ordination to perform all essential functions of pastoral or other ministerial work subject to the laws of the state. This recognition as an ordained minister is prayerfully granted involving divine presence and with blessing and power given this 22nd day of February in the year of our Lord, 2015. Amen. As we start this next song, to the, turn to the person next to you and say, hey, great to sit by you today. Great to sit by you today.